Daniel Medvedev versus Riley Opelka is the final match for the Canadian Open for 2021. And both players have had different roads to get to the final. Opelka entered the tournament unseeded and will take on the wild card Nick Kyrgios in the first round. And after dropping the first set, he would rally to win three, four, six, seven, six, six, four. His second round opponent would be the number 14 seed Dimitrov, with Opelka getting through in straight sets in a very impressive performance. 6-3, 6-4. His third round opponent would be against the inform Lloyd Harris. And after dropping the first set, again, had to rally from behind, winning it in three tight sets. 4-6, 7-6, 7-6. His quarterfinal opponent would be the number 10 seed, Roberto Batista Ragu. And after a close second set, Opelka got to the semifinals. 6-3, 7-6. In the semifinals, Opelka would take on the number three seed, Stefano Tsitsipas. And after losing the first set in a close tiebreak, he would rally to win in three, six, seven, seven, six, six, four, to get to his first Masters 1000 final. Medvedev came into this tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was against Bublik, a player that he's played a lot this year. And after Bublik won the first set, Medvedev was in a lot of trouble and seemed to be struggling mentally, but he pulled himself together, eventually prevailing in three sets, 4-6, 6-3, 6-4. His third round opponent was against the qualifier Duckworth, who had just come off beating Yannick Sinner in the second round. Medvedev was too good on this occasion, winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. His quarterfinal opponent was against the seventh seed and Miami Open champion, Hubi Hercatch. And after getting destroyed in the first set, Medvedev hung on to eventually win in three, two, six, seven, six, seven, six. In the semifinals, Medvedev will take on the unseeded Izna, who is having a great week coming off wins over Rublev and Monfils. But this didn't trouble Medvedev, who destroyed Isner in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2, to advance to another Canadian final. These two have played four times before, with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 3-1, -head having just played at the French Open a couple of months ago, Medvedev getting the straight sets win. However, the last time they played on a hard court was the end of last year in St. Petersburg, with Opelka getting a three sets win. And on a hard court, they go to three sets every single time they've played. If Opelka's gonna win this one, he needs to serve like he did against City Pass. He served so big against City Pass, a lot of aces, as you would expect, but he didn't give away any chances. Only the one break point against his serve against City Pass, he needs to do the same against Medvedev. If Medvedev is going to win, he needs to make the returns. Something that City Pass couldn't do against Opelka was return the serve and get into the baseline rallies. So Medvedev needs to do that and, of course, take his chances. He took all his chances against John Isner. And he's going to have to do the same against Opelka. This is going to be a really fun matchup because both these guys, similar age, same generation, and Medvedev has just come off a player very similar to Opelka in Isna, and he destroyed him. So I'm going to pick Medvedev to win this one in three sets. I'm expecting a couple of tie breaks because, as I said, they have played a couple of tie breaks over their careers against each other in their head-to-head -head shows. They play a lot of tie breaks when they play each other. So I'm going to go with Medvedev to win this one in a few tie breaks. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this.